All right, are we doing it? Am I live? I got something in my eye for some reason. Despite the fact that I'm wearing glasses and I just cleaned them. Oh my god. <laughs> the moment I hit that record button, everything goes to hell. All right. Damn. Let me just make sure that the audio is working. Yeah, okay, it seems to be doing that. It seems to be going, it seems to be working. It'd be a shame if it wasn't. Okay, so. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, man, machine, everything in between. To more. Uh, welcome back to more Kingdom Hearts. Whatchamacallit. 1.5, 2.5, whatever the hell. Where we last left off, I had to cut the stream off early because I was tired. Which leads us to right now. Because I was all like, man, I'm going to fall asleep in like two seconds. So, going to continue the stream later today. Well, later today. At the time, I said that I was like later today. And now it's later today. So, here, here's what we're doing. Where we last left off, we just fought Riku. And pretty much just ran our asses straight to the library so I can get the hell out of here and go to sleep. But now, since we're in the library, we got a little bit of a scavenger hunt to have. To have? To do to do something with. So here in the library, you're going to see a shit ton of books. And by a shit ton, I mean there's going to be books like laying all over the place left and right, and you got these spinning things too. They got a chest in them. You keep spinning them to get the chest. And for some reason, it won't give me the goddamn chest. All right. There we go. Elixir. So, what you get for fucking around with these books is you open like a nice little secret passageway and it lets you uh, go and collect more dark matter, I believe, if I remember correctly. I just gotta remember where the fuck these books are. Bics? Ugh. <laughs> I gotta remember where the fuck these books are. Can you tell that I just woke up and I'm not... I am nowhere near qualified to be streaming right now. Hmm. Are there no books down here? Really? There's this green one that doesn't belong over here. Yoink! That's mine. And then, over here with the Trinity. Is it over here? No, over here. You get this yellow one or tan one. I don't. I don't quite quite know what uh, color it is. Honestly, is it tan? I think it's tan. Beige? No, it's not beige. It's darker than beige. It doesn't go here, does it? No, it doesn't. All right, cool. Hop on down. There you go. I'm gonna take this. Thank you. Gonna slot this over here. Shouldn't there be like a... Huh. I thought there should be like a book laying around on one of these shelves over here. Or maybe moving that shelf makes it appear over here or something. I don't... Here we go. This is a really fucked up library. Imagine you went to the library. Haha, <laughs> imagine going to the library. Imagine <laughs> Imagine you went to the library and you're like, yes, I would like to take out this book, please. And the moment you grab it, everything starts shifting around. And then everyone would just hate you. They're like, come on, jackass. I just found the book that I was looking for. Why would you do that? Like, I'm sorry, but I just found the book that I was looking for. Well, guess what? You helped me find the one that I was looking for, says another stranger. This is a very impractical way to have a library set up, by the way. You know, it's very impractical. I will take that, thank you.
Oh my god. Just imagine like walking in here, the door opens, you see like the book sitting on the table and right on the table it's like a skeleton just sitting there. Cause someone picked up a book and just left someone in there to die of starvation. Like poor bastard was trapped in the library the whole time. Oh my god, didn't they do that in like fucking Avatar The Last Airbender? Now that I think about it. <laughs> they they pan over to a uh, to like the great library or whatever that's called, the great archives, whatever the hell it's called, and like the dude that was left there. Excuse me, does that book not go there? What the fuck? Then what book am I holding? Get, get down, Sora. Actually, no, stay up, Sora, because there's a attorney thing over here that I want you to touch. Oh my fucking god. Come on! Give me the damn chest! This is, this is lovely. AP up! Ooh, I'm going to put that down my throat. This instant. Raised HP, HP, AP, my ability points. I was trying to see if I have any, um, any other type of, like, stat raising things. I do not. Oh, my god. Beast? Give me that. You don't need that. You're rich. You own a castle. You don't need all this. It's mine now. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. So if the book I just grabbed doesn't go- Oh, it was a purple book. I'm sorry. So the purple book, I think it's down here? I mean, not the purple book, but the purple shelf? Wait, no, it's- What the hell am I talking about? It's- Isn't it up here? Yeah, it's right here. And where the hell is your book at? Hmm. Must be on one of the turny things, right? Probably this one. Let me see. Oh, no. Where the hell is that book? Did I... Is it over here? Where the hell is that book? This camera is not working with me. It is working quite against me, actually. I'm actually kind of confused. Where the fuck is that red book at? I mean, not red. What is it? Brown? Maroon? Oh, it's right here. Duh, pick it up, Sora. What the hell? There you go. The door has been unlocked. Time to solve more puzzles. Well, actually, I'm gonna go over here and grab my rewards. I think one of these, uh... When the chest that we're about to get has dark matter in it. Very rare. Very useful. You're gonna want that. I know I want it. I forgot I gotta sit here and watch the damn elevator go all over the place. Hmm. That... That is... That is very interesting design. It's really unnecessary, too. <laughs> There we go. Alright. Just cast uh, some gravity magic on that. Bring that sweet ass down here. There you go. Why, thank you. Oh no. Osmos cheese. Okay, it's a gummy piece. I forgot what it does. Time to... Is that it? Damn it. Alright. Time to ride the elevator again. 
aboard the fun train. That's what I like to call it. When you sit in an elevator with a bunch of fucking strangers and, and no one says anything and there's no elevator music. It's the best experience in the world. And then you hold in a cough. Because you don't want people to think that you're sick or something. But then you hold it in for too long and then you feel like you're about to fucking throw up or something. <laughs> throw up or something. We've all had that moment. You held in a cough too long and, and it goes all bad. And then when you finally let it out, it sounds like you're dying. Puppies. More puppies. Thank you. Alright. Now that's out the way. Shouldn't... Isn't there another... Did I turn this one? I didn't. I knew there was a chest I was missing. You know, Sora, instead of sitting there and just watching it spin, why don't you, I don't know, stop it with your fucking hand? Mega Potion. Alright, up here we got some more puzzles to solve. For example, this thing. The stone is etched with, uh, well, I didn't get to read it. A thunder symbol. Shock that bitch. There you go. Over here, these candles. You Actually, I'm gonna switch my my inputs for a hot second. Put fire to triangle. Only Cretans do that. Square uh, square should always be the button for fire. That's the true button. I'm surprised we didn't tackle Donald off the edge. I'm very surprised at that one. It would have been funny, though. Oh, shit. There we go. That solves that. Switching it back, putting it to, uh... That wonderful blizzard. Wonderful. Break some house decorations. Then come over here and display an amazing feat of strength by just pushing this on over. And I'm trying to think, is what what's the other thing we have to do? Let's see. I broke the pots, I pushed the block, I shocked the shock, and I fired the. Yeah, and I set fire to the stuff. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, shit. I was kind of hoping I could make that jump, honestly. But Goofy made it. He's fucking holding it over me. Yeah, cat. Grab those emblem pieces. That's the wrong way. All right. Now with all those pieces, I'm gonna slot them in this awesome Kingdom Hearts door. Honestly, I think this door should've led to the boss of the area, but it doesn't. It leads to more area. It's kind of unnecessary, to be honest. But it's cool, though. Look how cool that is. It's like... It's like Resident Evil and Silent Hill, you know? Why? It was mine! Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant, it was. However, you can become stronger. Yes, Riku. Showed no fear in stepping through the door. Show no fear by letting this stranger touch all no over your body. You. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. 
That is all. Embrace the edge, your Riku. Heart, your being become darkness itself. Shop at Hot Topic with me. Acquire better drip, as the children would say. Ow! I did not expect. Oh my god, how much fucking damage did that do? Jesus! I'm fucking level 50 and I'm still getting like half my health taken down. I hate these fucking wizards. I think that's what they're called. They're called wizards, right? They teleport all over the goddamn place. When you get close to killing them, they start putting like a little force field around them. Like that. Damn, Goofy, you didn't have to clonk him like that. Jesus, you hit him with the fucking ring hand. Sora, can you not lock on to, to pottery? Lock on to the enemy that's trying to slit your throat? I think that's the best way to go right now, honestly. You know, I'm not the one being attacked, but I'm trying to help you. You know, trying to keep you alive. If you want to die, that's your prerogative. It's not mine. All right. Excuse me, my good sir. I'm holding in a sneeze, like, really badly, and I don't mean to. My, my body just doesn't want me to sneeze, honestly. Oh, I fucking hate this area. Around this area, they, they send these wyverns at you. And, like, you know, they're flying enemies, so you kind of want to get them in a nice little corner over here. So they don't go over the edge, because you can fall down there, and then you would have to climb your ass all the way back up. Uh, which way do I want to go? This way is pro- wait. Which way is progress? This one just activates the lift, right? Oh no, this is progress. Time for a classic battle elevator! The thing that the video games like to do, especially in the arcades, with the beat-em-ups. You know what I'm talking about. The beta mumps when you play as the guy that punches the other guy. <laughs> Gotta save the girl. Is that fucking. What is that? Double Dragon Neon or something like that? Or just. Double, no, it's just called Double Dragon Neon. It's like, what? The, the remaster or some shit? Like, that whole entire thing is about, like. Like, two. Just two street kids, I think. One of their girlfriends get kidnapped for no apparent fucking reason, and then you gotta go save her. I think that's what happens. Actually, now that I think about it, in that introduction scene, doesn't she, like, get hit or something? She gets, like, kicked in the stomach or something like that? Something stupid happens! Wait, what the fuck? Wait a minute, what the hell just happened? I'm supposed to fight more enemies on that damn thing! Am I that strong? Did I just, like, kill them without thinking? Am I a monster? What have I created? What do we get? Oh, Cottage? And Mega Elixir? Oh, Mega Elixir. I'm gonna save that for a rainy day. That's for damn sure. Wait a minute. Hold up. Isn't there a chest, like, in one of the corners over here? Oh, no. That's that's higher up. Now that I remember. No chest around here, to my knowledge. Um, here it is. This is the one I'm thinking of. Orcalcum? Or Calcum! Can you tell that I play this game too many fucking times to to know what the hell that that's there? I think it's a problem. I think I think that's the sign of a problem. 
and a good ass problem too. Well, at least for this game, maybe not the other games in the series. Get the fuck over here, Wyvern. Can you not lock on to the dinky shadow for me, Sora? Get the big guy first? Thank you. I really need to equip some treasure magnets. I can pick up all these, all this goodness around me. All these wonderful goodies. Do people still do goodie bags for like parties and shit? I don't think I've seen a goodie bag in like, in like what, six years maybe? <laughs> but to be fair, I haven't been to that many parties in, in like a handful of years. I mean, I'm a fucking adult, right? Why am I looking at Sora's abilities? What the fuck am I doing? I'm trying to see if I can do something for Donald and Goofy, get like treasure magnet or something like that. MP GIF! Thank you, I'm gonna put that on Goofy. Goofy, I believe that makes Goofy gives up like, what? 30% of his health or something to give us MP? Which sounds stupid, but I mean, when he gives Sora MP, that means you get to use your Raga longer, so... You kinda want that. <laughs> And I mean, Goofy can just come back to life if you just stall out for a while. Breathe him to life. You know, wake him up. Because he can't wake up. You should really save him. Did you get the joke? Let me explain the joke to you. I, w I was saying the lyrics of, of the popular song that Goofy sings for the memes. Now that I have explained the joke to you, you're laughing. You should be laughing anyways. I mean, that's 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 the point of the joke, to explain it to others so that they get it. it makes it funnier. Are there no chests around this area? No, they're not. Okay, there's no, like, floating chest. Ow. Okay, hold up. Let me heal myself, because I know, like, one hit from this guy is gonna ruin my goddamn day. There we go. Ow. Jesus. Motherfucker shot me in the back. Where the hell did the wizard go? Oh, there you are. I'm gonna get rid of you first. You and your buddy. No, not the chest. Oh, what'd you drop? Shining crystal. I know there's a rare drop chance for, uh, I'm not sure how rare it is, but they can drop their wand for Donald. Same thing with the, the big guys with the shield. I think they're called guardians? They can drop their shield for Goofy. Uh, is the sneeze coming out? Hold up. Sneeze might be coming out. I feel it. I feel it. It's not, it's a little shy. Come on, you damn sneeze. Come on. And it's not coming out. It stopped. It stopped itself. Why is the human body built so fucked up? It's like torture. Did I not hit the fucking... Oh, damn it. No! Sora! Why? Why'd you stop gliding? What was that for? You're an asshole, Sora. What the hell? Force. I do not remember this area. Royal Crown? I'm sorry, is there, isn't there like a trophy for getting all the... No, that's in Kingdom Hearts 2, getting all the chest. In Kingdom Hearts 2, that's a fucking trophy, not in Kingdom Hearts 1. Oh, that, this, wow, you learn something new every day. Holy shit, that was completely by accident. Huh. Royal Crown. 
Reduces fire, ice, lightning damage by 20, raises MP, but reduces strength. Oh, reduces strength. Huh. I mean, that seems very useful for Donald. See, reduces strength, so of course it's gonna bring your strength down. But, I mean, that doesn't matter for Donald. You're a fucking, you're a wizard. You're a wizard, Donald. Just want to make sure I'm not holding on to any keyblades. Well, that's nice. Huh. Now I feel... I feel like I won that exchange. No, actually, I take that bad. I feel like I lost, because now I gotta, I'm going to have to jump back down and, and climb all the fuck the way back up. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Where, where did it take me? Oh. Hold up. Okay, not too, not too far back. This is actually where I want it to be. Yeah, this thing. I didn't I didn't click on this thing. My bad. My B. Oh. There's a chest that I just completely avoided. Hello. Lindara ring. Don't mind if I do. I mean it's kinda useless at this point, but don't mind if I do. Huh, that was less of a hassle than I thought it would be. And what does this do? Ah, uh, come on, you guys come over here. I'm not fighting you over the edge. I learned my lesson. Ow! I cannot reach you up there. Ouch. Don Excuse me, Donald. Did you just heal Goofy and give me defense? Shouldn't that be the other way around? I mean, look at our health. Dickhead. Such an idiot, Donald. You're such a fucking moron. Go, go risk your life for my amusement. You can do it, Donald. Go ahead, get him. Did Goofy fall? Oh my god, Goofy fell. Donald's up here. Oh, Donald's gone too! Alright! Wait a minute! Heartless went after something. What the f- Where's Goofy? Oh, there you are. Ow. There we go. Now that's dealt with. Jump on up here. Ah, oh, damn it. Ow. Mega elixir. Oh, here comes the sneeze. Ah, <coughs> oh, shit. Told you that thing's been held back. I think you got another one coming too. <coughs> Man, that felt great. That felt great. That was a great sneeze. I told you I was holding on to a sneeze. You didn't believe me. Nobody believed me. Not until it happened, anyways. Um, I just turned that. Uh, I'm trying to remember which which elevator that thing connects to. I definitely just switched the path on that one. I don't know. We'll find out later. It's not really important right now, honestly. What's important is going through here. Oh, shit. Thanks for taking that hit for me, Donald. Jesus. Maybe you're not a complete dickhead. Goofy, what the hell happened to you? So, 
I see the path has emerged at last. Yeah? The keyhole to the darkness. Unlock it. And the Heartless will overrun this world. What do I care? The darkness holds no power over me. Rather, I will use its power to rule all worlds. Such confidence. <laughs> oh my god, it's a Keyblade. Oh. But it's evil. Ah, impossible. The Princesses of Heart are all here. It must be her. Without her heart, she will never be able to release her power. I mean, yeah, it's called Princesses of Heart. What the, the fuck did you expect? I'll deal with them myself. You stay here and guard the princesses. I don't know, considering the cutscene we just saw, Maleficent, I, I would say we're actually quite on time. I actually would say we have a lot of time. There's no way we're gonna let that happen. You poor, simple fools. You think you can defeat me? Yes. Me, the mistress of all evil! Not sure about that one, Chief. Alright, so Maleficent fight. She's gonna hop on her magical platform here and basically you just get up here and beat her ass she's gonna throw you off at some point because you're not really supposed to be up her I mean you're not supposed to oh shit hold up oh damn I just I Donald you just fucked me up dude I just cast arrow myself not realizing that you did it already Donald thanks a lot You know what? Actually, that's not your fault, Donald. I'll take that L on that one. But yeah, at some point she's going to start hovering up in the air pretty high. And you're going to have to hit the platform itself. Oh, shit. Thank you, Donald. Oh, now you're dead. Yeah, but at some point you're going to have to hit the platform down. Like this. All the while, she'll be casting Thunder, kind of to act like a force field. She's going to Goomba Stomp you with the platform, and she's going to summon Meteors, like we saw earlier when she was fucking me up. Let me fight these... Ah, fuck! Don't I have a Mega Potion on me? No, I don't. I very much do not. Come on. There we go. Get you guys out of my way for a quick second. Goofy, give me some of your life for magic. There we go. That was kind of hectic, but she's down. She's dead. We did it. Shouldn't you, uh, close that portal behind you? Donald, learn cheer! Hey, Donald, that's not a... That's not... You, you want an applause for that? All the other characters learn cheer way before this. But anyways... Make sure you save your game, and when you are ready, and have fully collected yourself. Gonna hop on through that portal and fight the real boss. Do you need some help? Riku! Do you need some tea, Riku? Your voice is kinda... kinda fucky. Yes. 
A Keyblade. But unlike yours, this Keyblade holds the power to unlock people's hearts. Allow me to demonstrate. Behold! Oh boy. Wouldn't that be super retconned in later games? <laughs> unlike your stupid Keyblade, Sora, I can unlock hearts. I think we call it the power of awakening. This is it. This power. <laughs> darkness. The true darkness. Damn lady, you hardcore. He just stabbed you and now you feeling good about it. Anyways, here's the true fight with Maleficent. You fight her wonderful dragon form. Now what she's going to do is she's going to stomp all over the goddamn place. She's going to spit fire and just make a bad time. What I recommend is you bring out the best goddamn summon in the game, Tinkerbell. I love you, Tink. Ow. Fuck, man. So when Tinkerbell is out, she's gonna periodically heal you and act as a safeguard. Pretty much as a extra life if you get fucked up too bad. Now, alternatively, I believe... Oh my fucking god, you guys are getting fucked up. I believe, on one of these stumps, you can actually sit up here. If you're really having that much of a hard time, sit up here and just tell Donald and Goofy to fuck up Maleficent. Because Maleficent cannot hit you while you're up here. At all. So if you got all the time in the world, and you really having that much of a problem with this fight, there's this method. I think some people use this method during uh, level 1, 100%, uh, not 100%, level 1 proud mode runs or whatever. I don't do level 1 proud mode. I think that's a little unnecessary. Hell of unnecessary. I mean, I don't need bragging rights. You don't even get a trophy for it. So no one will believe you unless you have like a save file. Ow. Now... Funny enough, she's gonna shoot these little spirit fires at you. Oh, thank you for the MP, goof. But they don't count as projectiles, like those little fireballs she spent uh, she sends at you. And that's pretty much Maleficent. She's just one fucking clusterfuck of a fuck fest. This is why I recommend having tier two wind magic going in here. Ow! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, don't got my, don't got my wind up. Tinkerbell, are you still in play? Yes, you are. I haven't died yet. I mean, even though Tinkerbell's out, out here and you can be risky about it, I still, re I still recommend being cautious. I mean, it's better to be cautious and have Tinkerbell out as long as possible because she doesn't have a time limit at all. And I mean, you just get those benefits, right? It's like unemployment, you get those benefits. <laughs> just like that, Maleficent is down and over with. We'll never have to deal with her ever again. She's dead, she's defeated, we did it. They definitely won't bring her back due to popular demand. Look how dead she is. Super dead. Look, that's deader than dead. You can't be more dead than that. She was just another puppet after all. What? The Heartless were using Maleficent for No, I didn't need you to explain, Riku. I literally said, Donald literally said, what? Because he can't hear you. He's all the way across the room. A fitting end for such a fool. That's so unnecessary. You didn't have to do that. Fire Glow. After the defeat of Maleficent, you obtain Fire Glow. What's Fire Glow? It's a new summon. Head over to the. Whatchamacallit, to the fairy godmother to unlock it. It's a dragon. They're gonna want that dragon. Actually, that's a lie. You, it doesn't matter if you have that dragon or not. It's it's Mushu. It's Mushu. His, 
his summon isn't that good. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know why they give it to you this late in the game. It's not it's not that good at all. He's basically a pea shooter. All right. Hmm. I could have sworn there's supposed to be something else besides Shadow here. Aren't there supposed to be like two defenders in this area, or like one defender or something? Okay. Once you're feeling proud about yourself. Oh, actually. Here's what I recommend you do, especially on proud mode. You actually kind of want to switch these out for Sora. Because you might run into, you might run into a bit, a bit of trouble here. I recommend going in with high potions instead. I'm going to go in with three high potions, two ethers, and one elixir. And once, once you're feeling proud about yourself, step on up to the plate. Prepare to fight a truly, eh, maybe not challenging. Maybe challenging is not the right word, but a, but a fight. <laughs> Kyrie. Big scary, heartless. Throw a pokeball at it. Kyrie, Kyrie, open your eyes. Kyrie, it's no use. Open your eyes. I know you're like half dead, but open your eyes. That girl has lost her heart. She cannot wake up. And it says you. What? You? You're not. Riku? But I am Riku. The keyhole cannot be completed, so long as the last princess of heart still sleeps. The princess? Kairi's a princess? Yes. And without her power, the keyhole will remain incomplete. <laughs> what power, Riku? <laughs> what power does Kairi have? <laughs> Whoever you are, let Riku go. Edge where Riku throw a Pokeball at him. But first... You must give the princess back her heart. Hasn't that always been like a, a question people ask? Is like there's Pokemon that turn into I mean, my bad. There's humans that turn into Pokemon, right? In the Pokedex anyways. Right? Oh, everybody shut up. Here's the best here's the best part. It has been there all along. Kyrie's heart rests within you. Kyrie Kyrie's inside me? Kyrie's inside me? I know all that there is. Tell me. I remember the first time I heard that, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, don't worry, Sora. Kyrie's not the only one inside you. There's also a little boy inside you, too. It's a little boy and his edgy twin brother. Wow, Donald, you're just, you're just fucking useless. So, I shall release you now, princess. I'm not a princess. Complete the keyhole with your power. Open the door. Maybe I am a princess. I'm gonna be your princess, Riku. And there's a boy, another boy, and another boy, and another girl. Well, not a girl, more like a puppet. Actually, there is another girl. Is it but what the fuck is Nomine? Nomine makes no sense. Nomine makes absolutely no fucking sense. But anyways, you gotta fight Riku now. All this training in Destiny Island is here to pay off. And by that I mean he does absolutely nothing the same that he does in Destiny Island. Now of course I'm pretty sure if you were a little baby boot babby kid and this was your first your first fight into who the fuck is calling my phone? What the hell? This better be important. Hello. Yes, yes I did. I don't know. Alright. That was the most... That was the most non-important phone call I have ever received. Jesus. <laughs> hey, what's up? Did you, uh... Did you go back into your room? Yeah, I did go back to my room. Did you lock the door? No, I didn't lock the door. Someone else was here. Okay. Thank, thank you. 
<laughs> I knew it was an important phone call. I knew it wasn't important. But anyways, you know. Remember being a, uh, a little baby babby boo and doing this fight for Riku and like finally doing it and going like this was the hardest thing I ever did in my life and then Dark Souls came and knocking. Anyways, there's really not that much advice I can give you for fighting Riku here, honestly. It's just, it's just, you know, just put up arrow, heal yourself when necessary, watch that ass, and dodge dodge when you feel it's appropriate. You can also guard his hits, but I mean, it's no point. The only real advice I can give you is you can tech his, uh, his projectile that he throws at you, and later on he's gonna do another attack. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up, Riku. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Give me a second. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. You're acting too crazy now. Make sure you have Leap Bracer going into this fight, by the way. Yeah, but there's another attack he's gonna do later on. I have... Oh my fucking god. Damn, Riku, you hurt like a bitch. I'm gonna actually elixir time it. One word. Pokeball. <laughs> I feel like there's a there's a common thread going on here. I'm trying to wait for Riku to do his uh his actual attack that I want him to do. Come on, Riku. Here it is. Riku's gonna do this bullshit. I recommend just flying around the area. Why? Because for the most part, he's not going to be able to hit you when you're in the air like that. So make sure you got glide for this. Oh shit! Make sure you always have arrow up. All right, let me stop fucking around because my health is looking pretty low. I love how I just smacked him in the back of the fucking head. In my opinion, I would say this is probably... Not counting the, like, extra, you know, the secret bosses and stuff. Oh, fuck off, Riku. God damn it. Not counting the extra bosses and shit. Like, oh, fuck. Damn, buddy. You really, really hurt me. And my feelings. I'm actually getting quiet now, because I honestly think this is the hardest fight in the game for a proud mode. Mainly because you don't got Donald and Goofy backing your ass up. I should have came in here with more elixirs. God damn it. Excuse me? What the fuck just happened? Did my arrow go down? I think my arrow went down. That motherfucker just took all my health. Okay. <laughs> Why is the screen so dark, by the way? Continue. Huh. Son of a bitch just took all my health. That's amazing. Not that long ago, you just finished the Platinum for Birth by Sleep. I think I Platinumed Birth by Sleep in the PS3 version. Yes, yeah, 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 I did Platinum Birth by Sleep. I'm trying to think, did I do it two times though? Cause I, cause I had to switch like, um, I switched like my main accounts at one point and I definitely Platinumed uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2 twice. Technically, technically we're doing it for a third time right now. <laughs> um, shit. Alright, hold up. That, that just really fucked me up for a moment. Um, you know what? I'm actually... Hmm. 
Okay, hold up. Let me rethink my strategy a little bit. Because I did not expect Riku to really be a dickhead about it. Um, Guard's not really going to help me out too much. I mean, I can use this, right? Sliding dash ain't really going to help me in that fight. Neither is Hurricane Blast. Well, not Hurricane Blast, my bad. Uh, where is it? Her aerial Sweep? Aerial Sweep. Okay. Instead of worrying about potions, I'm gonna worry about my magic. Take out. I'll take out two elixirs. Ether. 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 And ether. Alright. Yeah, but platinum and fucking birth by sleep is a is a grueling pain in the ass, honestly. It is so unnecessary, especially when you're filling out all the reports and shit. Um, as for equipment, I don't think there's really anything I need to change. Hmm. Reduces fire and dark damage? Eh, hey, yeah, okay. Alright. Brings my strength down by like three, but that's fine. Defense goes up. Now, I'm gonna have a bit of more of a troubling time with this one because I did choose the way of the mystic, so I don't have, um... I don't have second chance on Sora. I think that's what it's called. Is it sh which one is it? It's second chance or once more. I think it might be once more. The one that makes sure you have like at least one HP to work with. But I do got a leaf bracer, so that's what I want. And I think pretty much it. Did I equip the? Um... Yeah, I equipped this. I don't expect to do too much damage with this, honestly. There's really no reason for me to have it on, just... Eh. You know, just just might as well, right? Might as well, because the other two aren't... The other two abilities aren't going to help me at all. We're going to skip that. Alright, Riku. I didn't expect to die to you today, honestly. Come on, Sora, do the... There you go. Eh, see, it wasn't, it wasn't really worth it. I like doing aerial attacks. I feel like they come out faster. They're more unsafe, though. That's for fucking sure. Alright, now that one was worth it. Oh, shit! There we go. Come on, Riku. Dance with me. Dance the dance. Do the do. Damn it. Uh-oh. That was the worst time to use that. Possibly. This is what I fucking hate. This is what I hate. There we go. Heal myself. Re-up this. Get that invincibility frames during that dodge roll. And you're done. Woo! 
That ability helped me out way more than I thought it would. On any note, you're playing Dream Job Distance for the first time. Really? That is interesting. Oh, Ragnarok. That's what the other ability is called. Excuse me, Donald. Give me a little bit of time. My friend just fucking decomporealized in front of me. Yeah, but Dream Job Distance is... Dream Job Distance is... It's iffy. Because I honestly think it's a really good game. Its story is not so much. But, you know. I think it's a really good game. In some instances, it's a... It's a little... You're a little too overpowered. Just a little... Just a smidge. <laughs> Especially towards the end of the game, because you can, uh... You can, um... You can... You can... Ruin that final boss with the flow motion ability. <laughs> also, I hope you enjoy that flow motion that you got in that game, because that shit is never coming back in full force. One of the reasons why Kingdom Hearts traverse, uh, traversing the world in Kingdom Hearts 3 wasn't that fun, because they fucking had to nerf the shit out of that. To the point where I don't even know why, why, it's, why it's even there. Remember, kids, suicide is always the answer. Now that I said that joke, let me let me let me actually make sure to tell you guys suicide is not the answer. Don't listen to me. I love how I'm ruining this fucking very awesome moment by talking over it. It's great. Sora sacrifices himself to save the one that he loves, even though he's only 14. Yay! Remember, kids. Your high school sweetheart is always the one for you. It will never, never go downhill. Kyrie, I want you to remember me and the sacrifices I made. Remember me by by buying Hot Topic memorabilia. Make sure all the money goes to my family. Can't hear you, Donald. I don't have ears. What's, what's happening to me? Falling, falling into darkness. Sora just died like a fucking JoJo character. Are you really? Look up into the sky, giving a thumbs up. I won't let him go. Harry, that's not how death works. at last princess the keyhole is now complete you have served your purpose but now it's over what the fuck happened to your voice Asim? um Asim. <laughs> Ansem? is his voice different am i crazy his voice wasn't like this in the first game was it impossible no you won't i'm looking it up i'm looking it up there's no what fucking way. You gotta run. The Harless are coming. <laughs> what about the keyhole? Who the fuck is texting me? Stop texting me. What the hell are you doing? Oh, by the way, I didn't... I, I don't think I said it earlier, but thank you for the follow, uh, Cinnabar Gaming. Thank you. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Cinnabar, were you here before? For some reason, the chat's telling me this is your first time here, but I think you were here before. I feel like you were here before. Am I? Am I crazy? All right, I'm, I'm looking up. Did they change Ansem's voice? Uh, let's see. Anyone notice the change in? No, not in that character's voice. Wait. Hold up. Uh Hmm. I'm 
seeing his voice change for like recoded and shit. No way Ansem sounded like this in Kingdom Hearts 1. What the hell? Huh, maybe I just remembered it wrong, I guess. Maybe I'm remembering him from like the flashbacks in Kingdom Hearts 2. Anyways, we're a little heartless now. You can run around. Yay. As a little heartless, you can't do anything. You can just run and jump. Kind of like Mega Man. You know, except the shooting. Also, can't save your game. <laughs> heartless runs kind of derpy. Alright, you guys know what the answer to all our problems is. Might as well just end it all. Jump on down. This is the quickest way, in my opinion, anyways. Here we go. Run your little awesome heartless self over here. I think this is the explanation. Well, they, they never really explain what heartless Sora is in Kingdom Hearts 2, but I, I think this is what explains it, right? This right here? Must be it. Kyrie, hurry! I can't leave them behind. They're dead. We can't stay here. The heartless is after us. I'll take care of him. What are you going to do to me, Donald? Ow. Sora? Is that you? I don't get this cutscene at all. <laughs> well, I, I get it, but I don't I don't get the idea of, of Donald going stupid, heartless. Right? Because any other time in the game, he's just casting thunder and those motherfuckers be dead in two seconds. Sora. Also, I'm level 52. Why the hell am I like a pathetic little shadow? Kyrie. Thank you. How did Sora come back from a hug? I don't know. Sora. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not going to explain it. I don't think Kingdom Hearts themselves ever explains it. I'm pretty sure there's like a million fan theories, but guess what? It's Kingdom Hearts. Come with us. I don't think it matters. I told you before, I'm not leaving without Bell. Now go. The Heartless are coming. Oh yeah, by the All way, right. Beast was here. Let's get out of here. Stopped using him as a team member like in two seconds. <laughs> Remember? Beast was here. Tell me what happened. So the darkness is flowing out of that keyhole. No wonder there are more and more heartless everywhere. I love you, Yuffie. The only You're my way favorite. To stop them is seal the keyhole, right? Maybe, but no one knows what will happen once it's sealed. Well, we can't just stay here. We have to do something. I've got a friend back there. You can tell Sora is serious That's because right. he's very animated. Have one more friend to worry about. Riku's Keyblade must have been born of the captive princess's hearts. Just like that keyhole you saw. Of course, without Kairi's heart, it remained incomplete. Once that Keyblade was destroyed, the princess's hearts should have been freed. Don't worry, Sora. If anyone can save your friend, All right, Leon, riddle me this. You can. If the logic of Kingdom Hearts is that the Keyblade is the weapon of the heart, and, and any wielder, anybody can wield a Keyblade with proper training, then how come the combination of seven hearts, my bad, seven, six hearts, didn't amount to jack shit 
especially from the princesses of heart. How is that Keyblade considered incomplete? I don't get it. I don't get it. Hi, Kyrie, you're here now! I wonder how Riku's doing. He's dead. He died. He disappeared. Hi, Yuffie. Not sure why, but the Heartless are getting stronger. It's called game progression. New types of Heartless are popping all over the place. If anything happens to us, I know we can count on you, Sora. I love you, Yuffie. Let's see. It seems that other princesses have been freed as well. Jasmine apparently hasn't returned to Agrabah. I suspect the others are still in the castle, too. For some fucking reason, we should go check on them. But yeah, we now have a problem. The way back to Hollow Bastion is kind of blocked off. So, we gotta... Is it blocked off? Yeah, yeah, it is blocked off. Yeah. Yeah, I'm remembering that correctly. We gotta find a way back to Hollow Bastion. So, what do we do? Also, once you're done with Hollow Bastion, Heartless are gonna... The Heartless are gonna change where they appear. Hollow Bastion Heartless are gonna be here in Traverse Town. Um, I know, for example, the little, little fire heartless or whatever, those guys are going to be in Hollow Bastion. They're going to be kind of a pain in the ass to find because you're going to need them for, like, synthesis items and stuff like that. And then a bunch of other, like, secret heartless and stuff like that are now, are now going to spawn. Alright, I'm just going to ignore those guys. I'm going to run over to the accessory shop. See if I can make anything with what I got. Let's see. Um, I can make a mother ether, a uh, mega ether, guard earrings, and that's pretty much it. Might as well make them. Might as well. Off screen, I'm definitely gonna have to synthesize this stuff so that we don't spend too much time on it when the time comes around to actually unlocking shit. Guard earrings. Let me see. Let me see. See, AP increased in defense, but not as much as angle. Not uh, angle. Not as much as angel. What should we call it? And what am I wearing here? Inferno band. Puts my defense down by one, but increases my AP by three. Mm. I'll take it. This way, I can put back on Aerial Sweep. Oh, not Guard. Aerial Sweep. And... Where was the other one I took away? Oh, here's Ragnarok, by the way. I guess I should show off Ragnarok, right? No, I'm gonna use Ragnarok at some other point. No, we'll show it off later. I know I'm definitely gonna use it during, like, one of... One of these secret bosses. Ripple Drive. And where is sliding dash? Thank you. Donald, Goofy, what do you got for me? You got cheer, treasure magnet. I'd rather you have treasure magnet. Cheer is kind of useless for me. And berserk for Goofy. Give up MP. Yeah, MP gif is... Uh, give up MP to give... Okay, he gives his own MP. All right, that's what happens. Okay. I thought it was his HP for some reason. I don't know why. Now we're gonna check. Oh shit, I didn't even. Did I show off Wishing Star at. I don't think so. Here's Wishing Star, by the way. <laughs> Completely didn't even show the fucking Keyblade when I got it. That was in the last stream. Alright. Oh, uh, Dewey's running the shop now. I think Dewey's the green one, right? Okay. They now sell Orcalcum, if you need it. Chances are you probably will. Wisdom Staff. That's gonna be good for Donald. There you go. And... An Onyx Shield, I think. Well Balanced? No. Mithril Shield. Well Balanced Shield. Oh. Adamant Shield. Hmm. 
What do I want you to have, Goofy? Large shield, best suited for defense, and also powerful assault weapon. Okay, well then, yeah. That should be better than Herc Shield, I think. No, stop. Wisdom. Here you go. Adamant Shield. Oh, no, it's not better than Herc Shield. What the fuck? It's not better than Herc Shield. Okay. Goofy, let me see. Is there anything I can switch out for you? This brings your health down, but increases your strength and defense, so... There you go. Power chain can get replaced with... I don't want to bring his strength down. And he doesn't really need AP, to be honest. What are you rocking? Raven's Claw? Donald, you have Royal Crown, and... I don't think you need anything else, really. Yeah, keep that MP up as, as long as possible. Alright. Um. Hmm. I'm 53 now. Run over here and talk to Sid. Hey, Sid, how's it going? Sid, I need to go back to Hollow Bastion. I don't think I can let you do that, kid. Can't let you do that, Star Fox. The Heartless there are multiplying by the minute. They eat up... Uh, they, they eat up your shit. <laughs> They'll eat up your shit. Then what can we do? Simple. Go around them instead of through. Install a new navigation... I can't read. Install a new navigation gummy and take a new route. A new gummy? Where from? The secret waterway. When I came here nine years ago, I stored it there in case I ever needed it. Never thought a kid would be the one to use it. Sid is still younger than Barrett. <laughs> I remember, I remember when I when I fucking learned that I was like, no fucking way, no way. He's not younger than Barrett. He's like, yep, Barrett's the oldest party member on your fucking on your team in Final Fantasy VII. Why am I, like, doing no damage to you? What the fuck's going on here? Why am I getting my ass handed to me? Hold up! Feels like I'm doing no damage for some reason. I mean, I obviously am, but, you know. It doesn't feel right. There we go. Ah, oh, there's more of them. Help me out here, Donald. Thanks for the MP, buddy. Ooh. Goofy learned MP haste. Nice. That's good for me, because that means he can give me more MP. really no reason for me to be fighting these guys now that I think about it. But it's the principle. It's the principle of standing my goddamn ground. Thank you for the magic. Thanks, Uncle Magic. Who's your favorite uncle? Uncle Magic! <laughs> That's I think that I think that reference is only locally to my area, right? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if anyone else ever saw that fucking commercial. <laughs> I'm Uncle Magic and this is Shot Kim the Clown. <laughs> hey, what the fuck? <laughs> 
Oh, I remember seeing that as a kid. See, Uncle Magic's not the thing that makes me laugh. It's it's Shock Him the Clown. <laughs> it is the most ghettoish shit I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. It's hilarious as fuck too. Alright. So while we're here in Travers Town, I actually want to head over to Merlin's crib. Now that I can glide, I don't have to worry too much about making these jumps. Making those hops. Those leaps. Merlin! Buddy, pal. Well, I'm not really here to see you. I'm here to see... Where the fuck... There we go, Mama. Another summon gym. Let's help this little one. Here we go. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Mushu. Let me actually show off these fucking. Uh, what you call it? These summons. Spellbinder. Thank you, Merlin. Uh, practice magic, please. Yep, yep. Practice magic. Alright, moving targets. Thank you. Okay. So, last time we picked up Dumbo. This is pretty much all you do with Dumbo. You fly around and you spritz water in the faces of your enemies. Lasts for quite a bit too. Long, I mean, it's better. It's better than um, than Simba. Simba's honestly the worst fucking summon in this game. See ya. And that's what you do with Dumbo, right? Nothing too crazy. And now our new one, Mushu. I am Mushu. Mushu is literally, literally just a pea shooter. Of course, the element is fire on his attack, so using him on fire enemies is not good. The uh, little pea shooter has slight homing prop uh, properties to it, but for the most part, it's not that. It's not. It's not nothing too fancy, really. Like you're better off using Genie, honestly, over Mushu. Which is why I don't know why they give Mushu this late in the game. It's overall kind of useless. He lasts pretty long too, though. Baba, -ba, see ya. I feel like Eddie Murphy needed a sandwich that day. <laughs> uh, I do like the little detail, though, for the summons. That if you notice it, Sora, for the summons, points the Keyblade in different directions. Like north, east, south, west. Right? And I think for Tinkerbell, he points it, like, directly in front of him or something like that. I'm gonna dismiss you. Which direction is Genie? Oh, well. Genie's all over the place, I guess. My dog is currently barking. One of my dogs. Yeah, but you, you're better using Genie. Like, he hits multiple targets. And he uses tier 2 level magic, so. It's just that he doesn't last as long as Mushu. But I think, I think besides that, uh... How the fuck do I stop? Oh. Canceled. Thank you. Now talk to me, Merlin. I would like to go back, please. Alright. Now, before we head out of Traverse Town, I actually want to run over here. Oh, shit. I think someone's knocking on my door. I'll be right back, actually. 
Give me like a quick second. Alright, I have returned. I am back. I have I have come back. Back if. That's right, Donald. Grab that ass. Too much booty in the pants for him to handle. Couldn't hold on to all that ass. Alright. I actually wanted to do this. AP up. I thought there was dark matter in there, really. Okay. Well, uh camera? Camera please. Thank you. And then I'm gonna load on over here. Ah, fuck. I always mess up that. I always mess up that jump. And when you mess it up, you gotta take the swim of shame. Because you gotta swim all the way over here because you can't. You can't swim up onto Merlin's crib. No, you can't. Get these rocks out of my fucking face. try one more time because I don't want to spend too long over here uh, there we go puppies one two and three thank you thank you thank you very much 
All right, head back inside to Merlin's because I'd rather take this nice little shortcut for myself. We'll come back and do Poober, uh, Poobers, Pooh Bears World later. Get the fuck out of my way, Goofy. Please take me to the cavern. Thank you. I think once you master all magic, um, like when you get tier three of all magic, he gives you a wand for Donald. I think it's called, I think it's like called seven elements or some bullshit. I, I, I don't remember, honestly. Spellbinder. Here it is. Raises MP by two and significantly enhances magic and summoning power. I mean, it's a pretty nice design for a Keyblade. What a mysterious mural. It's almost hypnotizing. Well, let's go check it out. Navi Gummy. It comes out and it just speaks like Navi. It goes, hello! <laughs> Let's go back and join the others. We should rest up. Okay. A light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, your grandma's story, right? There's a light at the end of the tunnel, Sora. That's right. I want to go to it. We were together. No, Kyrie, don't! You know what's funny? I looked everywhere for you, but you were with me all along. Finally, we're together, Kyrie. It's time to get Riku back. You think it'll ever be the same again between us? Riku's lost his... When I turned into a Heartless, you saved me, remember? I was lost in the darkness. I couldn't find my way. As I stumbled through the dark, I started forgetting things. As I stumbled through the dark, I stubbed my toe. It really hurt. But then, I heard a voice. Your voice. You brought me back. I didn't want to just forget about you, Sora. I couldn't. That's it. Our hearts are connected. And the light from our hearts broke through the darkness. I saw that light. I think that's what saved me. No matter how deep the darkness, a light shines within. I guess it's more than just a fairy tale. I guess it is too, Sora. <laughs> it's almost like it's important to the Can't story go. somehow. Why not? Because it's way too dangerous. Come on, Sora. We made it this far by sticking together. No, the fuck we you didn't. Can't go alone. Hey, Kyrie, look back. There's only one set of footprints you in the sand. My We're back hurts anymore. from carrying your ass right? all the way. I can't help. No. You'd kind of be in my way. <laughs> Did you know okay. darkness? <laughs> I did you know dark. Did you know that you can you can smell darkness? Take this. It smells like darkness it's in here. <laughs> be sure to bring it back to me. That's what happens whenever you walk into a room of Smash Brothers players. You just walk in there, pull a quick little Riku, go like, man, it smells like darkness in here. <laughs> what the fuck? Don't ever forget wherever you go. Smell like darkness and ass. Oathkeeper. Speaking of smelling like darkness. Is this the afterworld? <laughs> That's kind of dark. <laughs> That's kind of dark, actually. Is this the afterworld? Am I, am I dead? The other keyblade but I thought there was only one keyblade you know cuz I'm the chosen one the keyblade chooses its wielder you don't just find it isn't that right Kingdom Hearts 1 isn't that fucking right 
It's almost like you don't know what kind of story you wanted to make. <laughs> I would say, though, when it comes to Tetsuya Nomura and Kingdom Hearts story writing, everything that involves uh, the organization, at least in terms of uh, the main trio, I would say that was pretty thought out. Uh, that was thought out pretty well. It's fan favorites. Fan favorites, you know, unless you're IGN and, you know, Roxas is a useless garbage character that no one likes. Jesus, talk about a talk about just being fucking ignorant. Roxas is a useless garbage character that nobody likes. Jesus. Never gonna let that one down, huh? That or when they did a when they did that like a Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer explanation bullshit. Zinnahort. <laughs> yeah, there's the there's the three masters. You played as the three masters in the other games, and there was Zinnahort. I love when they tuck that down. I was like, oh, they tuck it down, and like two seconds later, I was like, wait a minute, someone else saved it and re-uploaded it. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that shit was hilarious. I love I love when news outlets cover things that they don't know about. It's kind of like whenever people talk about the Spider-Verse. Or whenever people say, man, I was a fan of Miles Morales when I was a kid. And I'm sitting there, I'm like, dude, Miles Morales has only been around for like 9 to 10 years, my guy. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you liar. You fucking dumbass. Way to expose yourself. Anyways, Oathkeeper raises MP by one, enhances magic and summoning power, capable of dealing critical string blows. Honestly, unless you really want more magic, there's no reason to use Spellbinder over Oathkeeper. It's just better, right? It's weaker than Olympia, but I mean, I mean, hey, you get that magic plus. So what's up? What color is the swing on Oathkeeper? I feel like it used to be red. For some reason. Or is that ultimate weapon? <laughs> oh, and sometimes light. Sometimes light is inside darkness. Sometimes. Maybe. Maybe a little light. Maybe a little bit. Oh my god, these dogs in my house just keep fucking barking over the slightest thing. Oh man, yeah, these Heartless definitely got buffed up. Because they are taking so many hits. Being level 50 isn't worth it anymore. I'm gonna have to grind myself up. Yet again. Well, at least the good news is that I chose, uh... My leveling path, I chose, uh, whatchamacallit. Dead of Night, so... I get the EXP bonus. Hello, little puppies. With those spotted puppies. Thank you, Pango and Perditi. I will take this. Get from Pango Perdita. Okay. Metro Shard, thank you. Still need to find a shit ton of those, uh, those little puppies. Oh, here's this little fucker around here. I don't think I need the synthesis item from that, from the search, uh, what is it called? Search Wild? Sniper Wild? Sniper Wild. That's what it's called. Sn Sniper Wild. I think I got, I think I got all I need. If I do need one more, then I'll do it off screen, but I'm not fucking chasing that damn thing. Here you go, Sid! You found it? All right, I'll go fix it up to your ship. You fucking better. I'm not paying you for it either. All set. You can go anytime. Kid, I gotta say, I wish you didn't have to face all this danger. Then why don't you come? You know what? If if Leon, Yuffie, Aerith, and Sid are so fucking worried about it, why don't you clock your asses in, huh?
My motherfucker said they've been doing this shit for nine years, then nine year air fucking then nine years your ass onto that ship and help me. Like for real. Man, sucks that you gotta do it all by yourself. I really don't have to. I mean, Donald and Goofy proved that they can actually help, literally help me. You guys, I literally saw you guys fucking around at the Coliseum, stopping me from progressing to unlock the fucking keyhole to the world. Like, come on, guys. Why are you? Why are you? Why are you a bunch of dickheads? <laughs> like for real. I hate all of you. Kingdom Hearts logic. Wonderful. There's a new warp hole near Traverse Town. I wonder where it leads. Hmm. Some weird power is emanating, emanating from the worlds. Might be worth revisiting some places. Might be worth you shutting your fucking mouth. How about that? <laughs> Actually, I want to see. I think as of right now, one of the secret bosses might be available. Either that or all of them are available. Obviously, I'm not going to fight it right now. That'd be, that'd be crazy. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. <laughs> okay, Tinkerbell, I see you. All right. We're just going to... We're just going to walk away from this one. <laughs> we're just going to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> All right. Still haven't finished Atlantica. I mean, we can do that now. Well... Yeah, we can do that now. So it is. Wow, Atlantic is completely optional in Kingdom Hearts 1, huh? Still think it's worse than the one in Kingdom Hearts 2. I mean, I, I rather I rather do mini game sing alongs than fucking deal with the piece of shit controls here in Atlantica. But let's let's do it. Let's finish it. Uh, head to our grotto. I actually, I'm actually wondering right now, does, didn't I click the grotto? What the fuck? What am I doing over here? Huh. Ariel, do you, did you learn anything new from, from these level ups? Hmm. All right. I wonder if, since we completed Hollow Bastion before completing, uh, Atlantis, Atlantica, Fucking, does it change the Heartless that appear? They definitely seem fucking stronger, that's for certain. So the Heartless in the world themselves still change and kind of get stronger, but... I'm assuming, like, the boss and stuff is still, still set in stone. In terms of difficulty. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna fight around here for too long. <laughs> um, what what the hell were we dealing with? Uh, Ariel wanted to do something. I think she wanted to head to the shipwreck. I think that's what we're doing. We last left off here in um here in Atlantica. Am I going the right way? Where the fuck am I going? Ow! That wasn't that wasn't nice. You're not a nice guy. That sucked. The depths. All right. Um, how do I get to the sunken ship? Oh, I remember. Yeah, I remember. I think I remember, anyways. Where is the dolphin? The magical dolphin bunny. But I said bunny, but I meant to say buddy. Dolphin, where are you? Are you over here? You should be. Should be somewhere over here sucks because we got to get rid of the Heartless first. See, isn't it such a great world? It's so good. Completely not annoying as hell to do. <laughs> Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 2 is the worst world ever, they said. God. I'll never agree with that sentiment. Where the fuck is the fucking dolphin, dude? Can you guys help me, like, fight the damn thing instead of just swimming around looking stupid? 
make sure I pick up these items. Especially the Frost Gym, I think it's called. Frost Gym or Frost Stone that these big guys drop. These jellyfish. Because fucking, for some reason they're a pain in the ass to get. Because you have to kill them without them multiplying. Is, uh... Oh, no, I think I, I think I remember why the dolphin's not here. I know why the dolphin's not here. I completely forgot. Another dumb, stupid thing we gotta do. Head towards Ariel's place. Excuse me, my fellow good men. Here we are, there should be a dolphin over here. Once I get rid of these assholes. Oh, there's the dolphin. Looking all happy and stupid. Oh my fucking god. You motherfuckers take a lot of goddamn hits. Even the magic doesn't help. <laughs> Even the magic doesn't help that much. Jesus! Just unnecessary amount of hits. Ow! Alright, Dolphin. Where are you at, buddy? I don't want to move from this spot, honestly, because I'm afraid of summoning more, more Heartless. Come to me. Come to Papa. Come to... to your fish daddy. Yeah, that's right, Donald. Use all them legs you got. Alright, so you need to ride the Dolphin a little bit. And if I remember, in this area, you gotta let him go. Let him go, he swims off into a different area. Which is the place we want to go, right? 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 You son of a bitch. You make me a liar? Hmm. Actually, maybe I gotta go through the area. I think about it. Let me see. Because I remember, I, I'm pretty sure you gotta ride him first. Ah, there you go. See, there's a dolphin. You gotta ride him first. You know, give him a good ride. Right on top of him, and he gets happy enough to go like, Hey, I'm gonna hang out over here. Now, just be careful. Fuck. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna swim down here. I'm gonna swim down over here. Because this is where the dolphin swims. And once we're done bucking around with the Heartless, we'll be in this area. Oh my god, you're gonna... Yep, you're gonna do that... that stupid shit. There we go. Mr. Dolphin? Where you at, buddy? Just gotta wait for you. Ah, here he comes. The seaweed is always greener in somebody else's lake. You dream about going up there, but that is a big mistake. Just look at the world around you, right here on the ocean floor. Such wonderful things around you. What more are you looking for? Under the sea, under the sea, darling is better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. <laughs> that is a, that is that is 
quite the lyric. That's right, darling, it's better. Down where it's wetter. And if you look closely into the VHS box art, it says sex. <laughs> Oh my god, it's a shark! You just... just Alright. Alright, thank you. Thank you, shark boy. Hey, look at that. Hmm. It reminds me of something. It's pointed. For your pleasure. There we go. Mithril. Now, once that's over with, you can walk on out here and be greeted by your shark buddy. Fish are friends, not food. You can fight the shark, and every time you defeat it, it drops like a high potion. Come on guys, help me fuck the shark up. Fuck him up. Beat his ass. I'm actually then heal myself, because I'm kind of low. Motherfucker came in the wrong neighborhood today. I will say that is something that I kind of miss in later Kingdom Hearts games, is that... Just the chance to beat up more Disney villains. Like, as regular enemies. Like, you know... Fighting a Sabor and Tarzan, like, that was pretty cool. Really don't get too much of that anymore, it's all just like, the monsters and Heartless and shit. Which is still cool, I mean... You know, speaking about like a first impression, if you head to like, uh, you can head to two worlds for your first impression of uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, and I would say both of them are pretty good bosses in terms of. Oh my god, the motherfucking shark is here. Jesus! I'm out of here. I already beat your ass. Motherfucker came for more. <laughs> you want some more? No! back to Ariel's Grotto with this this wonderful trinket in hand. You know? She's out here talking about how she wants how she wants thingamabobs and who's a what's its thingamabobs galore as she puts it. <laughs> how pretty it is. Conveniently point it for your pleasure. Ariel, you disobeyed me again. I told you not to leave the palace. Daddy, no! Daddy, yes! <laughs> All I can think about is that fucking plankton meme. <laughs> daddy, no, daddy, Young yes. Man, you're not from another ocean. You're from another world. No, I'm not. Huh? Then you must be the key bearer. How did you know? You may fool Ariel, but you can't fool me. You don't know your dorsal fin from your tail. Yes, I do. The dorsal fin is the is the smaller the fin. Bearer, you must already know one must not meddle in the affairs of other worlds. I'm too late for that. Of course I know that, but you have violated this principle. The key bearer shatters peace and brings ruin. Oh, Sora's not like that. I thank you for saving my daughter, but there is no room in my ocean for you or your key. How does one cry under the ocean? My, my, the poor child suffers such deep sorrow. I mean, you can cry, you can cry underwater, but it's like, how would someone know? I guess maybe the 
the look of stress on your face. We could do. Wait, maybe she could be of some help. Yes, maybe she could be of some help to you. Who are you talking about? Oh, she would surely help you. I love how the first question is who you're talking about and not who the fuck are you and how did you get in here? Right. Ursula is so Helping fucking cool. Is what I, live for. I feel like Ursula is Let underrated. You wish to see other worlds. <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard. After all, your new friends came from another world. What? But they had special help. That mysterious key. <gasps> now, now, cheer up, sweetie. You have something special too. Huh? Now listen carefully. All right. Yeah, but that's one of the things that I miss from uh, Kingdom Hearts in later games is like, it's like once you head to newer worlds, it's like every Disney character you meet are they just kind of like oblivious to the situation, and it sucks. I like the idea of walking in the world and having like, like for example, in Kingdom Hearts 2, you, you head to Mulan, right? And you talk to the Emperor. It's like, shouldn't the Emperor have a little bit of knowledge about what the fuck the Keyblade is? Just a little bit? Like, hmm, the ancient text or some bullshit. You know, cause, cause you know, you got, you got the fucking Master of the Sea out here. Going like, I know what the Keyblade is. Same thing with Genie, he's like, the Keyblade? I think I heard that before. Well, at least in, at least in, um, at least when it comes to the genie, there's a, there's a reason why he heard of that before, because of the prequels and shit. <laughs> the trident is mine at last, and I couldn't have done it without your help, my dear. Ursula, no! I didn't want this! Yeah, obviously wanted this. Why not? Aren't you tired of following your dear daddy's orders? Oh, yes. We had a deep. Didn't we? Time for a little journey to the dark world of the heartless. Where can I find the keyhole? The keyhole is not here. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I always like that. Why, we have company. I'm afraid you're a little late, Hansel. <laughs> Ursula is so fucking cool. Trident. We must get it back. Come on, let's go. Wait, I'm going with you. My father is hurt, and it's all my fault. I have to stop Ursula. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm right behind you, Ariel. The flounder, on the other hand, not so much. He's like, well, you guys can do that. I'm not going to die. I'll be over here. Um, do I want to replace Goofy? Yeah, you might as well, might as well replace Goofy. Not like his abilities really transfer over. Ursula draws powers from the cauldron. To defeat Ursula, you must strike her cauldron with magic. I'll be honest with you. He's perfectly right in what he says, but also I have no idea how the fuck that cauldron works half the damn time. Sometimes you throw magic in there and it doesn't work. Sometimes you throw it in there and it works. Sometimes you throw the same magic in there, but it ref but it tells you no, it's wrong. And it's like what? I always thought that you go off of color on that cauldron. Ow! Man, I was kind of hoping that it would drop like a an item for me. Ooh, Thunder Gym. Mine. I need that. And you have the Frost Stone or Frost Gym or something. The Frost something I need. I need you to drop it. Drop it like it's hot.
just out here beating it up with your fucking tail? <laughs> That's one thing I don't understand, right? Beginning of the game, it's like, the Heartless fear the Keyblade. They're gonna chase you for it. Oh, there's the Frost Gem. Thank you. It's like, the Heartless fear the Keyblade. They're gonna attack you for it. But the Keyblade's also the only thing that can destroy the Heartless. Fast forward to everyone killing Heartless. Like, like, not only Ariel's out here smacking it with her fucking tail, but even Jack, he's just smacking it with his bones. Same thing with Beast. Ow, motherfuckers. Nice if you didn't hit me so much. Alright. Once again, we gotta find the dolphin. Take one, take one, take one, one step forward. Just swim forward a little bit. And here's all the Heartless. Man, you guys are like, really hitting me for like, stupid amounts of damage. Ooh, I leveled up. I can have a new accessory now. Thank you. There is a lot of you motherfuckers out here. Wait, I still have tier 1 thunder? What the hell? I don't have tier 2 yet? Oh my god, can you stop hitting the wall, Sora? For like 2 seconds? Where the fuck did the ghost go? Oh my god, I keep hitting the rocks. I don't want to go too far out because I'm going to end up summoning more fucking Heartless. There we go. Now we just wait. Everybody sit the fuck down and just wait for the stupid dolphin to show up. While I'm here, actually, I want to head over to Ariel. Uh, Ariel, defenses moves frequently, uh, constantly, Con constantly, yeah, constantly. And emergencies. I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm not gonna give you items, but still. Who the hell is mowing their lawn? Someone's deciding that right now is a great time to mow their lawn. Alright. Thank you, dolphin friend. Shark's over here, but you don't have to worry about him. Where the hell? Ooh, chest. Oh, never mind. Guess we gotta worry about him. Oh, well, I guess not then. What the fuck? Metal shard. What the hell? Alright, fine. I'll fight the fucking shard. Damn it. It's gonna keep interrupting me. It doesn't even notice me. Notice me, bitch. Come on, guys, hit the shark. Get its ass. I mean, to be fair, I did tell Ariel not to use her specials too much. I only use it for, like, defense. Oh! What? I just get my ass handed to me by a shark? Excuse me? Fucking excuse me? Oh. Strength up to 34.
I'm trying to see which one I actually want. Yeah, I'm gonna go with White Fang. And I'm gonna get rid of fucking Oath Keeper. It's getting me into a lot of trouble. <laughs> what the fucking shark beat my ass? Oh, well, Ariel's back to her, uh, her default stats. I mean, you know what? Fuck it. Keep it, Ariel. Why not? I don't care. Alright, Donald, it's dead. Stop wasting your fucking magic. Isn't there supposed to be another thing it drops? No, it drops like three items every time. I'm not over that. I'm... I'm kind of, I'm kind of mad that the shark killed me. I never had that happen to me. Never. Anyways. You gotta come over here with Ariel. With Ariel, I think, I'm pretty sure you gotta have Ariel on your team to do this, because you need Sebastian to do this. I could be wrong, though. Maybe you can do it with just Donald and Goofy. Just gonna swim over you. You know what? The ghost didn't notice we were here until one of you two dickheads hit it, because I heard that shit. I should actually save my game, because the amount of bullshit people are doing outside of my goddamn window, someone's gonna fuck up the power lines. All right, time to time to deal with one of the most annoying boss fights in this goddamn game. This fucking ghost won't get off my back. Leave me alone. Oh my god, I'm hearing them getting fucked up over there. <laughs> to the fight with Ursula. Fighting Ursula head-on is not the wave. You don't want to do that. She'll spin around, practically making her not invulnerable per se, but uh, you know, a pain in the ass to deal with. What you want to do is attack her cauldron. Now, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know what does what. Actually, I think when it's red, you're supposed to put Blizzard to like, you know, fuck it up or something. I don't know. I don't know what color does whatever. Just shoot it with magic. Fuck it. I don't care, dude. But that's what you want. You want that to happen. And then it dazes everyone in the room. And then you and your team can go and fuck up Ursula. Now, since this boss fight is magic heavy, you have Floatsum and Jetsum flying around, which are the two eels. And they're kind of just there. They're constantly going to revive, even if you kill them. Um, They're just there so that you have something to hit to regain your MP back, really. And that's their only real reason for being here. Now, I believe you have to wait for Ursula to throw a fucking potion in to the cauldron to actually do something. Alright, it's blue now, so I'm gonna hit it with fire. I honestly don't know if I'm doing this right. I could be fucking it up and doing it wrong. Oh, no. I did it wrong. She got what she wanted. Maybe blue is for electricity or something. I don't fucking know. See, there you go. And I hit that one once and fucking... It just explodes. I, I don't know how the cauldron works. I honestly don't. I just shoot it with magic. I recommend coming into this fight with a bunch of ethers just to... Just to fucking not have to deal with this bullshit, really.
Damn, Ursula, you got way more health than I remember. What the hell? But yeah, that's pretty much the fight. Ow. Yeah, I expected that. I expected to get killed by her. I wasn't really paying attention. <laughs> Jesus. I hate the fight with Ursula. I hate both her fucking boss fights. It's just honestly not fun to do. It's not hard by any means. It's just annoying. I'm just gonna keep using Blizzard at this point, honestly. I don't I don't care. <laughs> There you go. Come on, guys. Help me fight her. See, there you go, Ariel. This is the fight with Ursula. Look, come the fuck down. Stop hitting me. Throw the potion in the cauldron. Oh my god. And for some reason, people still think Atlantica and Kingdom Hearts 2 is the worst one. I don't get it. Oh my god. Fuck off, Ursula. There we go. Help me out, you two. Thanks for that, Donald, because if you didn't do it, I was going to do it. I was really going to put arrow on myself in like two seconds. Let me actually pay attention to my health this time around. This is also why you want to have a uh, arrow level 2 with you at least. Just so that when Floatsum and Justum come to fuck with your shit, you can just kind of smack them around a little bit without doing anything. Oh, why am I going to- stop. Come on, you two. Yeah, there you go, Ariel. Get that in there. Can't even do as much damage as I want to do. I mean, having Goofy on this fight, too, will definitely help out. Especially if he has MP gift. There you go. Ow. I would love it if he didn't smack me in the back of my dome piece. Where the fuck is she? Oh, she's up here. Come on, you guys. Help me out. You are taking a lot of hits. Does does Ursula level up with you? I don't remember her taking this many hits. I'm sorry? What the fuck just happened? What? How much of my health did she just take off?
Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, shit. That that was interesting. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Well, damn. I actually wanted to deal with Ursula and like finish up the stream to be honest. Because this stream isn't supposed to be that long, it's supposed to be, you know, just a little a little something. Because uh I had to end the stream early last night because I was too damn tired. But uh there's really no reason for me to save because I just I just loaded the game. What the hell am I doing? But yeah. Uh we're gonna come back and beat Ursula in the next stream. But uh as of right now, this is a this is where I have to end it off because I do not actually have enough time to stream as long as I want to. Not right now anyways. So, <clears throat> next time we stream Kingdom Hearts will either be, what the fuck is today? Today's a Thursday. Will either be, you know, if I have more time to do it tomorrow, which if I do, it would probably be like early in the morning. I mean, probably when people are at like work and shit. So like, I don't know, like 10 or something in the morning. But, um, you know, I, I wouldn't, you know, I wouldn't bet on it. If anything, I would say, if, if you're not following me on Twitter, which, by the way, the Twitter's right there on the screen, um, that's when I'll put out the uh, notification, right, that I'm going live or whatever. So, you know, if I don't do that, then the next stream will be on the scheduled time for uh, Kingdom Hearts on the Twitch schedule, which is like, what, Monday, Tuesday, something like that, like really late at night, so... Yeah, my stream schedule is fucked up. So that's going to be it for this stream. I say we made some pretty good progress. We kicked Riku's ass, so that's pretty pretty awesome to get out the way. Uh, Ursula is a pain in the ass. Alright. As for all the links on the screen and stuff like that, it's my Twitter, it's my Twitch, it's my YouTube. If you're interested in looking at more... Uh, Twitch archives and stuff like that of streams or just playthroughs that aren't on Twitch, they're on the YouTube. If you head over to YouTube, please like, subscribe, comment. Forget about subscribe, mostly just like and comment. That's all YouTube really cares about. It's it's annoying as fuck. I just wish that they went off of views like they did before. Um, and they still kind of go off of watch time and stuff like that, but not as much. They they go they go for engagement because you know they gotta they gotta you gotta get in there with your with your fans and tell them to buy shit. And oh my god, have you heard of Raycon earbuds? They're so fucking awesome. They're not though. They're pieces of shit. But anyways, <laughs> but anyways. That, that's all that, so if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave a like and comment if you do honestly like what you're watching, it helps out a lot. For those of you on Twitch, if you're watching the VODs, thank you for watching the VODs, that's... I don't know how Twitch does their analytic bullshit, but you know what? Fuck it, who cares? If you're watching the VOD on Twitch, at least, you know, at least you care, right? At least you find it interesting enough to watch it when I'm not live. So, obviously, I'm probably doing something right. Maybe. I'm not sure. For those who come and watch live, thank you very much. It's fun to talk to you guys and just spit silly here and there. You know, shoot the shit. All that other wonderful jazz. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, for the Twitch. Right. If you want, you can subscribe to me on Twitch. If you do that, do the lowest tier possible, please. Because, honestly, it's your own fucking money, right? And if you want me to, you want me to be able to stream more, I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need a little kickback because I stream on my work days, pretty much, so, and I stream when I'm not working, so I mean, I can kind of, kind of need that help there. <laughs> I don't need help for money or anything, but, you know, if you want me to stream more, then subscribing would definitely help to that goal as well um also if you have a twitch prime of uh, twitch prime if you have a uh, amazon prime account you get a free twitch sub so you know what if you want me to stream more and you got you know that free sub there just sitting there why'd you why'd you kick it over to me you know it's, it don't cost you anything you know it's just it's just there it's free but it gives me money 
<laughs> gives me money. I sound like a scumbag. Anyways, that's it for the Twitch. That's all that wonderful stuff. If anybody wants to make any fan art for like any stupid shit, uh, any stupid jokes that I make or whatever, in uh, any playthroughs that I do, you can add that at me over at Twitter, and I will definitely put that in the uh, in the beginning part of the stream when we're getting ready to stream. And I think that's everything I really want to say as of right now. So, as always, I'm trying to get the fuck out of my way, you two. I'm trying to look at the people. Thank you. <laughs> as always, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. Take off.